Welcome back to Bunnings Investment Group. In this video, we are going to talk about the day three entry strategy two. In the first strategy, we were actually indicatorless or didn't have any indicator on our charts. All right, enough with that. Let's jump into the value. So what you are seeing here is USDJPY and uh, these arrows are actually coming from this indicator called the BTMM Pro. It's actually an indicator that trades in line with market makers. You can get a copy of this one because it's highly accurate and will definitely help you remove the confusion as well as self-contradiction when trading. The link is right in the description box below. All right, so in our yesterday's lecture, we had uh, several pairs that we looked at and uh, in those pairs, we were actually talking about days of drop up until we get uh, the point of reversal, whereby we said a reversal will come as a M or a W pattern. And we talked about two scenarios, which actually variates between. So in this particular case, we are now going to use indicators. And this is for those who actually found it difficult to navigate through the markets without any indicator. Indicators are good in the sense that they actually help us to remove the subjectivity as well as have a concrete reason for entry. So if we look at the market without any indicator like this, it's something that is clear and something that is smart. But unfortunately, it's something that will be difficult to make some rules to make our entries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install my template, which I can give you for free if you actually con communicate with me directly through uh, the Telegram channel that I'll leave in the description box below. So basically, the template will actually bring out these indicators. These are now EMAs that will help us to make our entries. So EMAs are there to actually govern how the market moves. By governing, it's actually giving us reasons for us to term or validate a, an impulse as a level, basically saying this is level one because we've seen this, or this is level two because we've seen this. So I am going to teach you two methods of using these EMAs to validate these particular levels. The first one is the easiest one, whereby we would say whenever we have a 1350 EMA cross, we are in level one. What do we mean by that? On my chart, I have this 50 in blue, 13 in red, 5 in yellow, 200 in white, and 800 in dark blue. This bottom part has what we call the Traders Dynamic Index, and it's basically to help us identify when the market is about to reverse. So in that particular instance, we say whenever we get a 13.50 EMA cross, we get into level 1. So an impulse with a corresponding 13.50 EMA cross is actually level 1. And if you have watched the first video, you will actually know that we mark a level in this particular case. So this one is level 1 drop, where we have 13 and 50 EMA crossover. When we get 50, 200 EMA, at the start or before an impulse, we are now in second level. So we had the 13.50 EMA cross here, and after that we had the market drop to the downside, and with that drop, there was a corresponding 50 in blue and 200 in white, meaning that this was confirmation of level 2. So if we have something like this, it will become level 2. Then level 3 will basically initiate as a bounce on the 13 EMA or as a shadow to the 50 EMA. In this case, a shadow is basically an approach or an attempted touch to the EMA of interest. So in this case, we had a bounce on the 13, the one in red, meaning that this was a start of the next impulse. After three impulses to the downside or to the upside, the next thing is now to wait for a pattern. In the first session of this particular topic, we said you draw a line at the first leg level that has been issued and then wait for either a page or basically an ordinary pattern that will be issued. In this case, our entry was either going to be at this particular point or 
at EMA at 13 EMA closure above candle. Meaning that when a candle closes above the 13 EMA, we will actually make an entry. Or basically, when a candle closes above the first leg level, after creation of a page, we make our entry. Where do we exit in this particular manner? Our exit will be at the 200 EMA. That is where we would want to make our exit because that is where other cycles might start. So, just a small summary of everything that I've said. We've said first level is seen as an impulse with a 13 and a 50 EMA cross. Second level is seen as an impulse with a 50 and a 200 EMA cross. Third level will require to touch the 50 or shadow the 50 or touch the 13 EMA and issue an impulse. However, it's not always the case when this happens. And there are other skews that I'm going to now review. So those skews will actually help you to have a, a big enough as a guy that of strategies that will be helpful when you are navigating within the markets. So what do we mean by that? We are saying the market cannot always present the same thing over and over again. Otherwise, we'll start to create robots that can do this for ourselves. The other strategy or the other way to view these levels is to see level 1 will always require a 1350 EMA cross. Right? So, this was actually the first impulse to the downside, which is the first level, like that. Then after that, We've said, of course, on level 2, we expect a 50-200 EMA cross. But we need also to see uh, a bounce on the 50. So, if we have a bounce on the 50, an impulse, another bounce on the 50, an impulse, we deem those particular moves as levels. So, this was actually a bounce on the 50 and an impulse was issued. Meaning that this was the second level of our flow. Then after that, we can see another bounce on the 50, like this. And then we had an impulse. After an impulse was issued, we mark the law of that particular day. And this is the law. So, on that law, we actually waited for a W pattern and our exit is at the 200 EMA like that. So you can see that the second criteria of counting these levels is to see an impulse and a bounce on the 50 EMA. If an impulse has been issued and then we see a bounce on the 50 EMA, we validate that particular level. This particular strategy or this particular uh, arrangement can also be applied on the M15 time frame. I am going to use a current moving market. This is what we have right now on euro usd and if we switch to the m15 time frame this is what we see we can see that there was a 1350 ema cross here and then the market bounced to the 50 ema like this and then the market came back again to the 50 ema like this what are we expecting we are expecting to see a downward move for a completed three level flow or three day drop. If we look at the H1 time frame, this is how it looks like. Day one of drop, day two of drop, and then the last day of drop will be issued. And after that last day of drop, we will need to actually mark the low of that day and then see uh, the second leg for us to make our entry to the 200 EMA. So these EMAs are free and they are also obtainable on, on, on any tradable trading platform. I can as well provide you the template uh, for free so that you can simplify how you view the market. On that note, we've come to the end of our today's video. And meet me in the next video where I will actually elaborate more on day three strategies. Have a blessed day.